Welcome back to Monroe's Corner. We're back with another reaction. Today we got Awaken with JP. Uh, how to be a woke white person. <laughs> All right. Okay. This. Okay. Okay. This. This should be good. <laughs> this should be good. Uh, we did. We did uh, the best female swimmer. You know what I'm saying with him before. So that was very entertaining. So uh, I'm looking forward to this. New channel goal, 10,000, all right? Uh, so make sure you like, subscribe, turn the notifications on. I'm dropping every day, baby. Let's get it. Are you a white person who wants a lot of credit for helping to create racial equality while you do nothing to help create racial equality? Why he just started off like that? Why he started off like that coming out the toilet? <laughs> he let us know off top we about to get into some shit. <laughs> Are you a white person who wants a lot of credit for helping to create racial equality while you do nothing to help create racial equality? <laughs> if so, that means you want to be a woke white person. So listen up because I'm... Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. He done set the tone. He set the tone already. If so, that means you want to be a woke white person. So listen up, because I'm going to give you your PhD in wokeology. Wokeology. Let's go. <laughs> as a woke white person, your mission is to attack as many other white people for being racist online as you possibly can. But don't worry, them actually being racist isn't a prerequisite for you attacking them for being racist. <laughs> Everyone knows that racism is hate, but as a woke white person, you know that the best way to heal the world from hate is to hate the people that are spreading the hate. Let's take a look at your woke white person black belt skills in action. I was just about to say, how deep is that cup? <laughs> like, he just kept pouring hoes. You know that the best way Everyone knows that racism is hate, but as a woke white person, you know that the best way to heal the world from hate is to hate the people that are spreading the hate. Let's you know the best way to kill the world from hate is to hate the people that hate. Oh my goodness. He's dropping some bars. Racist. Everyone knows that racism is hate, but as a woke white person, you know that the best way to heal the world from hate is to hate the people that are spreading the hate. Let's take a look at your woke white person black belt skills in action. If you don't know, you hate the people that spread the hate, that's just more fuel for them to hate. They love to hate. Spreading the hate. Let's take a look at your woke white person black belt skills in action. Tomorrow we should cancel the term white belt. <laughs> Let's say you encounter another white person saying something as racially hateful as, I love black people. Now at first glance, that could seem supportive to the black community, but as a wokeologist, you know that people never say what they mean. They mean what you think they mean. Oh, that's a ball. Oh, that's a ball. It mean what you think they mean. So what you're saying is, nope, that's not what I said. That's not what I said. Or say what they mean. They mean what you think. But as a wokeologist, you know that people never say what they mean. They mean what you think they mean. You can accurately determine what they meant by leaping to incredibly large assumptions that come from your mind, not theirs. Ah. Then you can inform them what they meant by what they said. He is dropping bars in here. Yo, his comedy is so good because, you know what I'm saying, the best comedy, you know what I'm saying, comes from the truth. You know what I'm saying? Not theirs. Then you can inform them what they meant by what they said. Ugh. In this case, it could be, you just think the black community is so weak that they need your love. <laughs> and now we've just exposed their white fragility. Then probably ignore the fact that you're acting from the presupposition that the black community is so weak that they need you to protect them. 
Next, Damn. call the hyenas to come attack your prey in the comments section. And finally, be sure to take a screenshot of their post. That way after they delete it from being emotionally abused by you, you can repost it to make sure they keep getting what you think they deserve. And so their thought that you don't like will continue to live on. You get- <laughs> Oh my goodness, he's so spot on. He is so spot on. Hey, I immediately assumed that anything that I say is gonna get clipped. Anything that I post is gonna get screenshotted off the bat, just off a rip. That's the way society is today. You can't say nothing and it go unheard. Nothing goes unheard these days. Nothing goes unheard or unseen. What you saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the, shit that, the shit that I deleted that was emotionally abusing me is going to get reposted so I can get more emotionally abused. You get the sensation that you've helped because of the highly emotional... The purpose of... The whole purpose of, of, of being woke is to, to enlighten and to educate, you know what I'm saying, to uplift, you know what I'm saying, for more support, not to attack. You know what I'm saying? Not to attack. The whole purpose is not for attacking. You know what I'm saying? People think they people think they're doing good by attacking the people that uh, uh, attacking the people that attack us is to you know what I'm saying? Get a what you need to do is help them understand. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 what the whole shit is for charged feeling that developed inside of you while you weren't helping this helps make your efforts all about you not about right. racially oppressed people because it's your job to find racism in what white people are doing and saying online whether it's there or not here's some woke principles that'll help you find racism in anything assume that all white people that aren't you are racist take what they say out of context for example if they said I didn't enjoy watching that game. You could say, that's because a lot of the players are black. Uh. Accuse them of racism for what they're not saying. For example, if they post a picture of their dinner, accuse them of racism because there's no black people in their food. Accuse them of being <laughs> a racist. And if they... What? This dude's off the chain. Deny it inform them that denying being a racist is the first thing a racist person would do. If you see someone actively supporting racial equality, let them know that they're only doing it as a virtue signal, and therefore they're bolstering their image at the expense of black people. And just know your virtue signaling of pointing out their virtue signaling is completely different from what they're doing. Occasionally, you might run into actual racism in your feed, but probably not because scumbags usually aren't that honest. But even if you do run into it, you won't know what to do with it because all you've got is weaponized anger, criticism, and hate. Compassion, connection, and education aren't concepts bleached into your DNA. Now, let me help you understand the dynamics of how you as a woke white person are making a real difference in racial equality. When you put all your time and energy into finding faults with other white people and attacking them, it means you are not putting your time and energy into helping and supporting racially oppressed people. Does that make sense how you're not helping the people that you think you are? And it's great because you know that instead of putting your energy into being for something, it's way more constructive to put your energy into being against something. But that- Oh! 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 Truth! 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 He is talking right now. He is talking right now. I like this guy. I like this guy. Spent all that energy being against something, you know what I'm saying? Instead of being for something. What? Something. It's way more constructive to put your energy into being against something. But that doesn't matter because you get woke warrior social justice points for criticizing and hopefully even canceling other the white brownie people. Points. But you don't get nearly as many points for helping the racially oppressed because people don't notice you doing it. A general rule of thumb is if it doesn't give you a dopamine hit from social media acknowledgement, uh. it doesn't help create change with racial equality. 
Congratulations, you now have your doctorate in Wokeology. Being the woke white person that you are, thank you for crusading with your sword of hate to help heal the world of hate. You're doing God's work. <laughs> What's up, you beautiful weirdo? Thank you for watching, and I want to take a. Hey, I like that dude, man. I like the point he made at the end too. It's like they're gonna get way more attention to attacking the attackers than actually helping the people who's being attacked. You know what I'm saying? Cause that goes. You know what I'm saying? It's it's notice, but you're going to be seen on a much more larger level if you're acting an ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Damn, that's... That was dope. That was dope. That was real dope, man. I, I like Awaken with JP. Uh, I'm definitely going to uh, get into some more of his uh, videos. Y'all let me know what I need to react to next, and I'm on it. <laughs> I love it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let's get it, man. Stay woke. <laughs> all right make sure you like subscribe and turn the notice on peace out love y'all go get somebody a hug man you know what i'm saying yeah yeah